What are the craziest ways you've heard of people making money? Heard of crazier, but a guy I know, friend of my mother's, went to Texas 30 years ago. We are from Norway, and he noticed every single garden had a trampoline. And it was almost always jump king the circular with blue mat ones. So he went to the HQ, bought 10 and took back to Norway. Within days they were sold, and he ordered 50 more, same thing. So he became the only importer and has got knows how many millions to his name today. Richest guy in a rich town near us makes enormous amounts of money buying Hershey bars and rewrapping them with customized retirement celebration designs or corporate logos to be given away at events. Literally just rewraps them in pieces of paper and doubles or triples his money. There is an English girl who helps wealthy Chinese parents give their kids suitable English names. It is common in East Asia that kids have secondary English names that they use in English class and often also later in life when, for example, traveling for business. People send her photos of her kids, and she suggests a name for, as far as I remember, 50 pounds each. Medical studies, there's an entire website jal.org where you can find studies to participate in. I actually did several, my best being one where they had to brace my leg and for a month I couldn't use it. They took three pieces of my muscle in my thigh, the study was to see if the, the drug would help muscle growth in the leg that wasn't getting any use. It was like $12,000 for one month, I would do it again. My buddy worked his way through college by panning for gold. This was in 2009 in California. Most days he made nothing, occasionally he would come home with a couple hundred bucks worth and I think once he found a night worth over $1,000. Back in the day I used to do face painting in bars on holidays. Yes, painting the faces of grown drunk people. I would pull in $100 $150 in tips. Selling progression in video games, shit is wild. Even people gambling on video games for overpriced characters. Growing up poor meant most of my friends were also from poor families. Twice a year my buddy's dad would buy as many cheap cigarettes as he could from an Indian reservation and drive them several states away to I think New York to sell them. Sometimes he would get picked up by the police and just be gone for months at a time until he got out and found his way back home. When we were 16 we hung out in Vegas with a homeless guy for a couple days. He survived by having a stack of those cards the casinos give out to track how much you spend. He'd go up the strip and put them in random machines at all of the casinos. Hours later he'd go back and collect them. He'd get free meals, free rooms, and all sorts of random shit. Doesn't seem like it could work out in the long term but it was working for him. About four years ago I noticed we started running out of Ziploc bags quickly every week. Turned out my ten-year-old at the time was mixing gummy bears worms with Hispanic spices and chamoy sauce then, selling them at school for five dollars a bag. She was bringing in about one hundred dollars one hundred and fifty dollars a week. She is now about to turn fifteen and I helped her build her candy business and she has her candies in stores in our city and is still expanding. Pretending I'm a web developer and reskinning WordPress themes. I accidentally made a few thousand dollars from the game's top nonsense and I'm still not entirely sure how or why. The fact that NFTs were a thing still makes me feel like a crazy person. The introduction, the explosion, and the implosion makes me think I just dreamed the whole thing. I had a childhood friend become a multi-millionaire by custom painting jockey helmets for harness racers. I had an acquaintance who was a financial dominatrix in her spare time. Which is to say, she spent men's money for their sexual gratification. No actual sexual contact of any sort I'm pretty sure the whole thing was long distance. Unfortunately, she didn't have the sense to keep her mouth shut at her day job respiratory therapist and got shit canned for it. There's people who live stream themselves sleeping and creepy ass people pay money to watch them sleep, if they pay money, they can make sounds that startle them and wake them up and stuff. I knew a guy who did it and actually made decent money. Creepy if I would never do it too.
YouTubers playing with toys. A German friend of mine bought undeliverable UPS packages in Germany from UPS. I think it was 10 euros per package back then. He ended up hiring a bunch of people to open, value, and eBay them. He was one of world's top eBayers at the time. Most valuable package was a load of gold foil. He closed the biz because of employees stealing which got him into unpleasant legal stuff in the small town he lived in and it wasn't worth it to him. I used to be a professional fan author. I got paid quite a lot to make people's often bizarre fan dreams come true in writing. I was pushed down the stairs by a teen girl who told me to pay attention and get out of her way I ripped my dress during the fall and was getting back up when some guy rushed up to me, apologized for his daughter and handed me $500 as compensation. I have a friend who 3D prints vehicles for model railroad layouts, and sells them for a fraction of what the mainstream manufacturers are doing. He started this about 18 months ago and is pulling in $12,000 per month, and is growing almost exponentially. I have an old friend who went from having a miserable life at 20 to joining an MLM scheme and somehow ending up one of the divine few people who bring in six figures a year selling dry mix milkshakes and Kool-Aid colored tea. Bigger girl I knew made money doing fetish stuff. Guys would legit pay her to stand on them, called stomping. She also had people pay her to watch her eat. No sex involved. I would have called bullshit but she showed me the messages and offers from dudes on an app called Kick. Good on her, but people are into weird shit.